illustrative of what you're trying to move towards, which is, I mean, um, you know, uh, bringing our food production uh, into uh, the local area, into within the urban areas, which we know that we've got to do if we're not, uh, you know, if we're not going to uh, starve as a result of oil uh, running out and, and, and so on. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, it's uh, it, outreach doesn't mean going out to people and saying you come and do what we're doing. I, I don't think. I think outreach means doing things that people can see and join in with. Um, and local food growing projects are a really good example of that. Um, and you can then actually get those, th those projects can begin to be run more on the basis of, of, um, of consensus decision making and they can feed forward into, um, in, into local decision making on a, a larger scale such as on the city wide scale, you know, we need a food plan for the city so that we can survive. But you're starting that in a grassroots way that is, is absolutely the sort of um, <coughs> mode of running things that we're looking for. So, yeah, uh, I mean, the other thing is that lots of people are doing local food growing projects and that's why they haven't got time to get involved in Occupy because it's time consuming is that. And so you've got a split between people doing that practical stuff and then people who've got time to come out and live in tents in the middle of the city. And, and I'm concerned with, with um, integrating that split. Um, so that's why I think, you know, let's get Occupy into the, into the gardens and the allotments and the fields and, and, and maybe a bit vice versa as well. Okay. Is that next one? There's, there's a group on um, Occupy.org Occupy called the International Sustainability Group and they're trying to do that exact thing, so have a look at that. Right. Right. Okay, okay. Uh, next on the stack from next. upstairs was uh, the, the two ladies that were in the far top corner, on the far side. Are they around? I'm not, no, I'm not sure how they were exactly because you've all moved around now. Yeah, it was. Okay, uh, sorry, somebody might have already said this then. Um, we were talking about the sort of things that we want to do up to September, the t uh, September 2012. And I did mention this in the previous session, but I just think it's so important that I'd like to reiterate it and, and see if we can get Occupy to, you know, to really uh, campaign for it. And this is the issue around internet freedom, the SOPA and the PIPA laws. If we're not able to communicate and organise using the newest form of technology, then you know this is a, 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 it's a massive blow for our movement. So I think we would, I would like Occupy yeah. to endorse a call to co to coordinate with the next um, call blackouts or whatever they want to call them. So that's the short version of that. But that is my hot topic. Okay. One of them. Any point on that? Yeah. No. No. When no. more no. January? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, um, uh, head, head hacker and techie, yeah? Uh, access to websites, yeah? We can totally do that. So let's just all decide between all of the cities if we think it's cool to like have a, a time. Uh, you guys do the process you consent to see bit, give the techies the okay, and I can send them a little snippet of code to put in the masthead of all the websites, which will enact the blackout. This is a small piece of JavaScript code, which can go in the top of like Wikipedia had. If you disable JavaScript, you can still access the website. If you bloody read the manual that's at the bottom of the page, okay. you know, read the instructions and you can still access the website, but it's blacked out for solidarity with software. Yeah. Okay. Have a proposal here? Hi, thank you all. I love you all. It's absolutely inspiring to see all these wonderful ideas, wonderful passion and wonderful, wonderful inspiration coming out of these meetings. And it's absolutely, it's, it's heart touching. What I'm concerned about right now is what can we do short term right now over the next seven days to facilitate the unity that we all want to feel and see within the Occupy movement right across the UK for a start to who knows? Maybe it can go international. Uh, there is something that is happening on the 4th of February to begin with. It could be, potentially, and we hope to facilitate this, a huge nationwide Occupy celebration, the first huge Occupy festival. How we can facilitate this? All of us can be a part of it. We all know people, we all have friends, we all have contacts. We could get in touch with everybody we know, all the squats. 
all the, all the camps throughout the UK, every open space. The 4th of February it's going to happen. On the 28th we will be releasing the logo. We will be releasing a lot more information. Um, I believe Stephen Fry is going to be helping us tweet. We have lots of amazing tweet software going to come out. I can't say too much. All I can say is there are going to be a lot of people hearing about this. And the 4th of February can be when it happens. So let's all get out there and let the world know that on the 4th of February, Occupy is celebrating and the whole world can come and look at our banners, hear what we talk about and enjoy the celebrations. That could be a direct action that we can all personally get involved in within the next seven days and the seven days after that and by the 4th of February we'll have it happening. Okay. The next point. Um, I just... Was festival and fun time celebration is a really good idea. I think we have to be really careful not to become a festival. Um, Occupy is not a festival. Occupy is part festival, part a lot of other things, but our main thing is a change, transformation of society. We're revolutionaries, we're not free festivals. Um, so, my proposition to that would be that if we are doing a festival on the 4th, uh, I don't want to, I, I don't want to um, take away all the attention from the National Library's campaign, which is crucial and important and happening on the 4th of February. What we should be doing is occupying libraries. Yeah. Okay, hey, uh, we need to start closing this meeting, so I'm going to propose uh, we have now the Pirate Pad open. We have the computer set up to take minutes. So I propose that everybody who has really strong ideas of how we could move forward, approach the computer, type it down so we can have a list of the strategies and actions that we want to do, and therefore start organizing. Okay? We have one announcement here that you wanted what, what to know. What about the agenda? We were, that was the first thing we were going to do when we came down, was the agenda for tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that was I'm, closing, I'm closing first the, the, the meeting that we had. Now we, we can move to an agenda, but I don't want to keep mixing things because we will never end. Okay, final announcement. Yeah, I just wonder if the Occupy people here would like to endorse this report. It's a Spartacus report, people might have heard of it. It's basically last week we went through the law to the new changes to welfare reform, which is going to crucify people. A lot okay, of okay. Right, yeah, okay. Okay, okay. So Basically, we're, we're asking Occupy to endorse a report. It was a grassroots report by disabled people. They funded it, they supported it. Disabled, okay, sick, okay. whatever. Let me close the meeting and people are interested in finding out more information about that, please. So, do you understand that you have the possibility to come here to this computer, write your proposals for our actions for the new September of 2012 in the computer and it will have access on the final part for everybody to access and get back on you on those issues, okay? Is that clear? Yeah, okay. We really need to, I want to close this meeting, okay? I really want to close this meeting and then we are going to move into the agenda points for tomorrow, okay? I want to say that even it was really hard because we had to change spaces and everything, I want to, I think we should congratulate each one of us because we managed to work together, to break up groups, to get back to each other. Some I'm speaking. And, hey, I'm here, speaking, yeah? Yeah. Uh, we managed to get back to each other and dream something for the next eight months, okay? Now, we agree on setting the agenda for tomorrow. Ruth.